Hi there, I'm Jennifer Roberts, and today I'll be taking you through a closer look at the weather options in X-Plane 11. This video was recorded using Public Beta 11. X-Plane's weather is simple to set when you just want to get flying, but powerful enough to allow minute customization if you want to control every aspect of the sim world. And we do that here in the Customize screen. X-Plane has three different weather modes, which you can set down here. Manually configured is what we're on now, and this mode allows you to adjust all the properties in this screen. To me, this is the most exciting weather mode in X-Plane 11 because you can play with the highly tactile weather map here. You can add up to three cloud or wind layers, then adjust them over here in the Layer Properties column, or you can move them around and adjust their heights. You can move the sliders over here to adjust visibility, temperature, precipitation, and more. Of course, don't forget you can set up perfect thermals for flying gliders over here, and you can also control the water. Now alternatively, match real-world conditions will download and set real-world conditions when you're connected to the internet. You can change the refresh rate, and if the download ever fails, hover your mouse over the error message to see a hint about why. The final weather mode is custom weather. You use this mode when you've created your own METAR or WINS file and you want to load it into X-Plane. So once I find my file here, somewhere, X-Plane will take this file and overwrite any existing METAR file. Then later, if you want to change your custom weather, you can either make changes to your original file and re-import it here, or you can edit the METAR file and then bind the regenerate weather command to a joystick button or key. I hope this video showed you the wide possibilities of X-Plane 11's weather system. All that's left now is for you to try it out and then get flying.